my question is very simple if you are saying there is corruption that has happened you need to or at least the cbi needs to prove that there was money that was public money exchequer money that went to the, to these private players and these private players then transferred some of that money to the public officials including manish sisodia as a exactly. quid pro quo so please tell yes. me where is that where is that trail of money from the private players back to the public officials okay that means aka uh, the aap aap the party spokesperson madam kakkar and you both are accepting that yes the money was given back and that was uh, that comes under corrupt me you you mix up to that you were mentioning what the airport is 30 crore rupees the l1 was allotted to someone the earnest money was paid by that person that earnest money was paid back nowhere in the world history ever for any rpc ji where is the scam what is the scam ma'am 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 one second one second let him let him respond uske baad main aapke aapke paas wapas aaunga ha rpc ji dhaka hamare yahan punjabi mein kaha hota hai uncha sabse uncha don't take it person ma'am i mean this is a kahawat hai so let me complete and then you have all the right to speak so the issue is ma'am please ma'am aapko nahi thoka na maine aapko fir achhi tarah dikh raha hai ki aap matlab fir main kya dunga ko chura aap us pe chapatai nahi nahi merit pe aaye merit pe aaye aap bhi main merit pe i was talking about the merit only so 30 crore rupees was given back to the l1 who could fulfill the conditions which was he was required to yes. that was again the airport yes and another is 144.36 which she is mentioning that it was waived off because of the corona but for both of them they need to take a cabinet approval the problem is they went for cabinet approval on 14th of july after 8th july when the policy chief was already announced they raised a red flag chief chief secretary no, no chief secretary raised the objection to that but they have announced it earlier uh, uh, earlier but they went for a post facto approval no cabinet note has given a uh, authority to mr sosodia to shout out or give relief to anyone okay. on behalf of the government of delhi so is a clear case of corruption as for quid pro it will come they, it, that's what cbi has tried to work on that where is the quid pro okay. how the quid pro has happened let, so let me ask give me a second give me another second another huh. second that another second okay and then, and then this whole of the drama and show of that ad new york time and uh, kharif time sir yaka we know how do i worked in advertising world and i been in newspaper also how do editorials are published you you ask man kakkar letter pe 13 crore rupees to me not to me to new york time they will publish a full page ad editorial not ad advertorial for mrs kakkar Miss sir any, anyway i i don't want to i don't want to be it's not my job I, i don't represent the new york times i don't want to be defending them but this as i understand was a an article written by a reporter based here in delhi but that's not the 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 moot point the moot point is corruption that's the allegation from the cbi and from the bjp Uh, the aam aadmi party is asking where is the corruption this is a case of political vendetta but be that as it may i want to ask shama mohammed a simple question kejriwal today came out and had a uh, a video interaction and he basically said that on the day that the world is praising delhi's education model there's this article in the new york times uh, there are two things that the delhi model is known for one is education the other is health the health minister is already in jail the education minister there were raids today maybe he might also go to jail who knows so his contention is This is the BJP's way of destroying the Kejriwal model or the Delhi model. Please respond. Raj, um, Zaka, couple of points here. First and foremost, well, let's understand this policy. Manish Sisodia got it last December. Now, my question today to the Aam Aadmi Party is: When you get a policy, you do it. When the governor notices certain loopholes, why did Mr. Sisodia take back the policy and go back to the old? Now, if he had stuck to this policy and said no, there is nothing, no wrongdoing in this policy, I'm going to continue with it. We'll understand that there is no corruption in it. But what is the one which really pointed out is one most important thing is waiving the tendering license in 2021 December. Why did you waive that license? He said because of COVID. And then when they went back to the old policy, what did they do? The compensation comes of that 142.4 crore from the exchequer. Why did he waive it off in the first place? Because of COVID. That is rubbish. Then they give off the excise duty not paid for for one case of beer. You have to pay fifty rupees. That has been waived off without without any of you know going through any of those uh, for what is in the policy or not. So many loopholes in this one. Number two, I remember Arvind Kejriwal in two thousand fifteen when 
some Asim Ali Khan or somebody had, uh, he asked him to resign. He said, you know, even if Manish Sisodia is caught, I will ask him to resign. Now, there is Mr. Singla, who, is, uh, who are, he asked to step down. But what we notice is Satyendra Jain, who's been in jail for a long time. Manish Sisodia, a lot of allegations against him. Why are people close to Arvind Kejriwal not asked to step down? Now, that is what one needs to know. What, what okay. are the secrets they hold? So this itself gives us to a huge suspicion that there is something dal mein kuch kala hai. Otherwise, he wouldn't have taken back the policy and gone back to the all. Okay, policy. no, no. So I, I, come, I come back to that. On July 30th, Manish Sisodia himself held a press conference and took back this uh, this policy and ostensibly the reason why this policy was taken back Smita Prakash is because it failed 